Hello stampers, Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. We are live tonight for a stamping class and oh my, how I have missed you. Somebody sent me a message and said, have you not been live since May 18th? <laughs> I haven't been live since May 18th and that seems like eons ago, right? Hi Jackie, hi Gwen, Marie's popping in. I see everybody getting in here. Mary just logged on. So I've missed you guys so much. And I've heard from so many of you that you've missed me too. Warms my heart. So we had a great time on our coronacation. <laughs> and for those of you who might not know, Dina and I hopped in a car and drove to Wyoming. And we went to visit our friend Barb. And it was just a lot of fun. The road trip there was a hoot and of course you know when you're on your way to vacation you are your adrenaline is pumping and you're excited and it didn't seem like the ride took hardly any time at all to get there it was like well it's about four and a half hours for me to get to Dina's house and then it's another 15 hours to Barb's house so 20 hours of driving for me I guess and I we did share the driving Dina and I but boy was the ride home long <laughs> It was long, but we stopped at Mount Rushmore, so that was cool. I haven't seen that since my soon-to-be 26-year-old Haley was three, so that was neat to see, and absolutely, like, there was nobody there. There wasn't even 50 people um, at Mount Rushmore. It was pretty crazy. We also went to Devil's Tower. That was empty, and where else did we stop on the way back? Oh, Wall Drug. We got into Wall Drug with 20 minutes to spare, and that place was empty too. So <laughs> it was a great time to be at those places, I guess. So yeah, um, we had a great time in Wyoming. We got quite a bit of work done. Oh, I know. I, um, I have a little document here that has some stuff in it, so I wouldn't forget to tell you like what's going on. So we watched some movies at Barb's house. Well, I slept through most of them, but I had seen them before. Yeah, if you put me down kind of in front of a movie and I've eaten supper or something, I'm like done, right? I just go right to sleep. Um, what else? So I learned some really cool things. I learned about this Chrome extension when I'm pinning to Pinterest. And these are the kind of business things that we do when we get together that can literally change our lives and it seems so ridiculous and silly but I learned about this Chrome extension and um, Barb showed it to me and it's gonna take my pinning to Pinterest and cut that time probably 70% for me so I was like so happy I wanted to cry like I kept telling Barb oh my gosh you don't even know how much this is gonna change my life because all the things that we do in the background as Stampin' Up! demonstrators um, those are the things that are just time suckers and they're not necessarily fun Like I know sometimes people think that I get to stamp all day and while I would love to do that. That's that's, that's So not what happens But anyways, um, what else we had sheriffism So my friend Barb's husband is a sheriff and he's quite the character and he comes up with all these we call them sheriffisms and um, a lot of them can't be repeated because this is a family show, but <laughs> uh, one of the things that he said, one of the things that he does is if he happens to swear, he'll whisper it. So he'll say, well, I don't know about that darn thing. <laughs> and he whispers it. So it's really cute. We're always catching all that. Um, yeah. What else? Oh, another thing that we learned is end screens on YouTube videos, which I was, I you know, I always knew about an end screen, but if you go and watch my last video that I did um, that was posted to my blog, I think it was the paper pumpkin video, I think that's the one I used an end screen on. And what it does is I put this picture in at the end of my videos, and then I get to pull in two videos that I've already made. So when you get to the end of my video, you have two more selections that you can make. So that was really cool. And I was super excited about that. Another thing that we um, did is we got our DSP samplers going. You guys are familiar with these, right? And you guys have asked me, well, not all of you, but a lot of you have asked me to make these for you. And I was always like, no, I'm not doing that. Well, guess what? 
Um, after talking to Barb and Dina, we decided that we would offer these as a customer service option. And so I wanted to talk, let me get this back up here. I wanted to talk just a little bit about this. So this is actually the In Good Taste Designer Series paper, and it's a sample. Like this is the front, that's the back, front, back, front, back of all the papers. And then over here we have all the coordinating colors that are punched out of cardstock for you. And then down, whoops. Up here, under the name, it tells what those coordinating colors are. So, what we are offering, let me see if I can find my little sample deal here. Oh, here it is. What we're going to be offering is you're going to get the sheets for each of the new designer series papers. Um, we're not doing all the color families, like the bolds, the regals, the brights, and the neutrals, but we are doing the new in-color sampler. And don't look at mine, because mine is cut all wrong and it's just kind of jacked up. But um, <laughs> yours will look much nicer. So you're gonna get all of these. These are gonna be printed on Whisper White cardstock. And you're also going to get a two by four piece of each designer series paper for each sheet, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to cut those in half. You'll flip one of these over and then you put it onto your um, template here. And there's going to be little instructions inside each one of the envelopes telling you what's in there. You're going to get this in a clear envelope. It's going to tell you what's in there. It's going to have the little circles punched out. Let me get one ready here. I should have done this before. You guys saw my post on Facebook. We've had people here all day, and they're still outside. Um, we had a party today. It was a Mexican fiesta at my house. We had a taco bar, and oh my gosh, I'm so full, but the food was so fantastic. So you're going to get a little packet like this. There's probably going to be maybe a couple different kinds in each envelope, and there's going to be a little piece of paper in here that tells you this is the ornate garden paper um, cut two by cut cut two by two. So this is already two by four. You're just going to cut it in half. Now with the in colors, I'm probably going to have you cut that at one and a half by one and a half, but you're still going to get, I think a two by four piece that you're going to cut in half and flip over and you're going to have to, you're going to have to do that. There'll be instructions in here. So I just want you to know how that's going to come to you. Now, where can you find the um, information to order all of these DSP samplers? Well, it's on my blog, and I will post it when we're done here tonight. I will post it to my Facebook page. Look at this. This is the beautiful flowers for every season. And what I like to do with these, you guys, is... Let me grab one of these. Um, let's say this was the flowers for every season designer series paper. Well, that's 6 by 6 but if you have 12 by 12 paper, I like to take mine and put it right in the back of my designer series paper pack that it matches, okay? And so when I pull out my pack of paper, I can see at a glance all the different patterns because let's say I'm looking for something that's got some bumblebee paper and I can go, oh, here's bumblebee here, 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 here. There's some in this one. And it just makes it easier for me to design when I can see these like this versus pulling these out and looking at them and going through all of that. That's like, meh. This is much more efficient. So I'll post a link on my Facebook page to my online classes, which is where you're going to find the buy now button for this. It's $25. And I will have it shipping out. I'm waiting. Of course, I have to wait for an order to come in once I see how many people order it. And it has been very popular so far. So <clears throat> I will be, excuse me, I will be getting this all cut, all of these circles punched, everything packaged up and out in the mail some point this month. I just don't know when. And I'm hoping to be able to start on those this week. So if you want to order those, those are going to be on my blog and I'll give you the link. And I just saw Sharon said, oh, how I've missed your humor. Well, I have missed you guys too. I can't even tell you how much I've missed you. It's been crazy. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. I just realized that as a message popped up. So somebody calls me in the middle of this, you guys. Um, yeah, it'll put me on pause and I will quickly um, reject the call and then we'll continue to go live. The other thing that I decided to do today was I'm not using Zoom. 
I decided to see if Facebook will work again. And do I send to Australia? I do not, Elaine. Only U.S. residents because of mail and we don't do sales over international lines with kits or packets. So sorry about that. But um, where was I? Um, I don't even know. How does that happen to me? <laughs> I haven't changed at all. <laughs> I still can't remember Jack. <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, that's what's going on with those. I'll, oh, I also have two online classes coming up. Um, Artistry Blooms. That is going to be my online class for the month of June. And that's the class that I do in um, collaboration. Oh, I don't even know where it is. That's the class that I do in collaboration with my friend Barb and Dina, Bar friends Barb and Dina. And that is on page 130, 132. So I'll show you that quick. I'll get the information up for that in the next couple days. So a little thing about me. You guys know I'm a huge procrastinator. And I tend to work better under pressure, right? But one of the things... Oh, yeah. Zoom. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'll stop this and I'll go back here. Squirrel. The reason why I'm not using Zoom tonight is I wanted to give Facebook a chance to be nice to me. <laughs> Facebook doesn't care about me. But they've been really mean to me. And um, something that somebody told me, well, you guys can see me great on Zoom when my camera is facing me. When I put it down to show my desktop, somebody said it's blurry. And I'm like, no, it's not. And I went back and looked at it. Yeah, it was. It was blurry. And so that's not good either, right? So I'm going to give Facebook a chance again. Hopefully they don't hate me as much as they did a few weeks ago. And we'll see how well this works. I also don't have anything else streaming in the house, so that's good, because Steve was streaming music to the stereo from his phone, and oh, it was a whole thing. So that's why I'm not using Zoom tonight. We're going to give Facebook a try. I'm nice like that. <laughs> Anyways, Artistry Blooms. Look at this beauty. So this is going to be the next online class for the month of June, and you will be able to order... A list of products from me this is the stamp set and there's dyes and the beautiful glimmer paper where is it I've got some someplace oh it's over there somewhere I don't even know where it is I got so much stuff going on here um, you're gonna be able to order uh, the suite of products plus we want to include the quarter inch white crinkled seam binding for our online class um, you're going to be able to get all of that for $102. You're also going to have the option to add on an extra pack of that glimmer paper. Where the heck is... Oh, I think it's down here. Hang on. Let me see if I can find it quick. Oh, I can! Ah, look at this, you guys. <gasps> Holy cow, right? This paper is so beautiful. I wanted to do an unboxing, but... Everybody was over yesterday, and my family really missed me. Like, they missed me a lot. Like, my daughter was, like, begging me to come home. It was crazy. Um, look at this. This is shimmer paper, you guys. So, you're going to have the opportunity in my um, Buy Now button to add an extra pack of this shimmer paper. And that'll be cool. Hang on. Oh, God. I can't even get it back in there. Um... So just so you know that, it comes with the hand-drawn blooms bundle, which is this plus the dies, the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper, which is this gorgeous paper down here, okay, um, bum, 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 bum. hang on, the Rainbow Glimmer paper, which I just showed you, the Artistry Blooms sequins, and the crinkled ribbon. That's if you order all of that, you get the online class for free plus a pre cut cardstock pack. That's going to include, ooh, I think no, 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 nine cards. I'm not sure, but once I get this all on my um, on my blog, you'll get all the details because I can't bounce back and forth and all over the place to see what's going on here. So I don't have all the details ironed out yet, but they're there. Like. I'll be able to type them up for you. Okay, so we got that going on. Then for um, Nothing's Better Than, that we're using the Nothing's Better Than bundle for my June kit class. And I'm looking for that right now. That's on page 91. 
that's this one. And this is my friend Connie Stewart's. Um, let's see if I can. I'm going to try to mirror my screen, you guys. So, whoops, hang tight. We're going to mirror and see if it flashes. Let me know if it starts flashing because remember we had trouble with that. This is the Nothing's Better Than. It comes with the whole set of dyes over here. This is going to be my kit class for the month of June. And that's the one that I do with Ashley. And the kit class includes product. So you're going to get the Melon Mambo Blend Combo Pack, Bright's Designer Series Paper, two mini paper pumpkin boxes, and some of the new stamp and seal adhesive. So you'll get this, you'll be able to use it, you're gonna try it out. I've been using it and I have to say that I really like it. I always like to kind of test stuff out, so I'm still working on that. Plus, you're gonna get the Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding. And um, you'll get a pre-cut cardstock pack with eight cards. There's four different designs in there. You make two of each, so you get all of that stuff. The kit is $49. And you can add on the stamp set and the dies for an additional $56. So that will also be on my blog tonight or tomorrow morning. It just depends on where I'm at. I have been out in the sun all day. I don't look very tan, though, do I? No. But it is finally summer in Wisconsin. I'm super duper excited about that. Let's flip that back. And, um... Yeah, it was really nice here today. It started off cool. It was only like 67 or 68 degrees, but it's always hotter in my backyard. And then everybody came over and we had a wonderful time. They were playing um, cornhole or the beanbag toss game thing with the big boards with the hole in them. My cabinet keeps opening back there. And so that was really fun. And like I said, we had a whole taco bar. So those are my two classes for the month of June. Now. I got a ton, and I mean a ton of mail while I was gone, you guys. It was crazy cool. And I think, here's what I think I'm gonna do. What is all this? Oh yeah, um, look at all this mail. Yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is I am going to show you guys all the new product that I got. I already got my order from the new catalog. I'm gonna show you all the product that I got and all my mail tomorrow. I'm gonna do another Facebook Live, and that's all it's gonna be about. I'm not gonna stamp or make anything. So, oh, Deb says she's not sure why I flipped back because I didn't know if it was okay. So thank you for telling me that. There was no flashing going on, so that's good. Um, but I don't, I don't need to be backwards again, or mirrored, I guess. So I think what I'll do is I'll come on and I'll show you guys all the new products, the new punches, the new kits. I got new dies. I got new stamp sets, all the embellishments. I'll show those to you tomorrow. I don't know what time I will be live tomorrow, but it will be recorded so you can watch it any time that you want. I'm thinking I might do it maybe mid-morning, but I'm not sure because I don't know what tomorrow looks like for me. Haley and the baby are coming over. Haley's going to start working for me as my virtual assistant. So... Yeah, I'm excited about that, but I need to get I need to train her and get her going on that. And she's gonna do stuff like um, when I get new um, team members, she will put them in all my databases and kind of stuff like that. And I have some swap cards that need to be made. So, woohoo! <laughs> oh, you guys are all telling me that it worked. Great. Lynn says I miss you. So glad you're here tonight, watching from Southern New Jersey. Lynn, I have missed you guys a lot too. I can't even tell you. I feel like. I feel like I've been away from my friends for too long. You know how that feels? Yeah, that's what I feel like. So, um, I think, oh, I know, we have to do our drawings, right? So from last, oh, I've got those names up here too, hang on. From the last Sunday night Facebook Live that I did, let me go find that. Uh, Wyoming things to do list. <laughs> um, from my last Facebook Live on a Sunday night, I have three winners. And my first winner is going to be Judy Sigler. And Judy, I know you're watching tonight, so yay you! You're going to get a roll of this Granny Apple Green, and this is the Textured Weave Ribbon. And I have to tell you guys, oh, and by the way, this is for leaving a comment here tonight. So if you're new to me, please leave a comment. Um, you can just say, hi, Kelly from Iowa. Carrie just said, hi from Iowa. Um, leave a comment because you'll get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. 
and make sure that you click on that share button. You can do that right now. That really helps me grow my business and I so appreciate when you share this to your profile, to your timeline. So um, we have Judy Sigler. She won this ribbon and I have your address, Judy, so I will be getting that off in the mail to you tomorrow. Then I also have this cute button button embossing folder and Connie Billerman of Rally, North Carolina is the big winner for sharing my last Sunday night video. So thank you very much, Connie. This will be on its way to you. Also, Judy's from Madison, Wisconsin. Love me some Madison, Wisconsin. I lived there for seven years. Madison is just an incredible city. And then last but not least for placing an order, I have Patty Bolt from Neshkoro, Wisconsin. The well-dressed stamp set is on its way. Thank you so much for your orders. Everybody who places an order gets put in a drawing. Everybody who shares the video gets put in a drawing. And everybody who leaves a comment gets put in the drawing. So I have the addresses for everybody here. And by the way, this is the last shot for Kelly Guy. Oh, it's backwards. I'm not going to turn it around. Kelly Guy, you won a prize, but I don't have your address. And if I don't hear from you by tomorrow... This is going back in the bucket. It was designer series paper. So I need to hear from you so I can give you your prize. Okay. Like I said, I'm going to do mail tomorrow. I'm going to show you all my new goodies tomorrow. I think we're ready to stamp. I'm so excited. Okay. I am going to be... Oh, hang on. That was heavy. I'm going to be sharing with you... Oh, yeah. I just made all this stuff yesterday. Hang on, my shorts are crawling up my, you know, too much, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Keeping it real. Um, I am going to be sharing with you the gorgeous posies. Let me, I'm going to mirror my screen again because I should have just left it like you said, right? Oops, that was wrong. Oh, that's the other side of my room, you guys. Hang on. Um, I don't know how to make this turn back. There we go. <laughs> All this technology is hard, I'm not gonna lie. Here we go. Gorgeous posies, look at how pretty this is. This is just a pretty little stamp set. We've got some beautiful images in here, some very cool fonts. This is a kit, you guys. Look at how pretty this is, right? Look at that. This is a box, like it's a box that this kit comes in. It doesn't come with ink pads. I've got ink pads in here, but We've got a whole kit in here, so I'll turn my camera around on my table so you can see what comes in the kit. But before I do that, I think I'll turn my camera around because that's going to be easier for me. But anyways, I just wanted you to see how pretty this box is. It's absolutely beautiful. And all the stuff. Oh, there's 16 different cards in here that you get to make. So I'm going to show you a couple of the cards from the kit. I've already got one set all made up, but I'm going to show you um, how easy these kits are. I'm going to show you what's involved in the kit. And then I have some alternate cards or at least one. I have three alternate cards to show you. So fun stuff, right? Okay. We are going to unmirror. And we're going to flip around. So if you get motion sickness, please hang on. There we go. Don't get sick. Hang tight. I'll be right back. I'll let you know when we're ready to roll. And I don't have my little thing up here, do I? Um, I don't even know where it is. Huh. Here it is. Okay, so I don't think this is the right host code right now, but I always have a host code on my blog. And there we go. Um, I'll also put that in a post when I'm done here. If you'd like to place an order with me, I always appreciate your orders, but you can go right here to my blog. You're gonna find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. And it's going to have, you're going you're gonna to see the um, current host code. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, now I can see all your comments. Yay! Look at this box. Absolutely incredible. And it's so, so pretty. So, we've got ribbon in here. Beautiful ribbon. It's got a gold um, metallic uh, thread run through it. And it's sheer, so that's really pretty. 
We've also got some Baker's Twine, and I'm assuming that this is either Highland Heather or Gorgeous Grape Baker's Twine. And then you get all of these die cuts. These just pop right out. We have several sheets of them. So pretty. And then we get all of these flowers, and these are just die cuts too, you guys. So you just pop them right out to use them. Look at these fun envelopes. All of these are purple, so you get 16 envelopes. And then we have all of these cards that go on the front, and then we're going to decorate them. So we've got this, we've got this. These are so vibrant, like this kit grabbed me immediately. Yeah. And then all these card bases. So these are all colored. The insides of the cards are white. And then I wanted to show you <clears throat> in our catalog, right in the front, I can finally show you the inside of the catalog. That in itself is super exciting for me. But we have all of these beautiful kits that are right in the front. Of course, our paper pumpkin is the funnest. Oh, and that reminds me. Hang on. I've got the sunshine. Where did that go? I had a flyer to show you. Here it is. This is going to be our June paper pumpkin kit. It's a box of sunshine. And our um, Sarah Douglas, she helped design this. She's running Stampin' Up! That's Shelly's daughter. So if you subscribe or buy a prepaid paper pumpkin subscription before or on June 10th, you'll get this box of sunshine. I think it's going to be beautiful. Paper pumpkin is one of the funnest things I get in the mail every month. And it's a surprise. It's a surprise every month. But you've got some paper pumpkin information here. We've got this beautiful Simply Citrus kit. I have one of those. Maybe I'll show it to you tomorrow. The Looking Up, this kit was available in our last catalog, but it is also beautiful. Then here is the Gorgeous Posies, and it talks all about it here. Tells you what you need to make these cards. So I've got a Gorgeous Grape, a Highland Heather, a Blackberry Bliss, and a Blushing Bride ink pad. And it lets you know that right here. The other thing that it comes with is the instructions, and they're very brief and easy to follow along. You've got pictures here that shows you exactly what you need to do to make the cards in the kit, and it tells you right here. Your kit includes this. Here are the steps. Here are some tips, additional products that you're going to need. Glue dots, dimensionals, um, stamp and seal or liquid glue, and then the ink colors. And then, if you want to be fancy, you can read the directions in, I believe, French, German, and Japanese. So there you go. You can be all fancy about this. No. <laughs> I want to know who can read in all those languages. Yeah. So let's get this out of the way. Um, here's the Boho Indigo Kit, and this has a really cute little stamp set with it also. Now, one thing I want to let you know. With this gorgeous Posies kit, you get the whole kit here. It makes 16 cards plus that cute, adorable little box for $32. The stamp set is not included. It is an additional purchase for $19. We have the Boho kit here. Oh, this is a product medley, so this has a whole bunch of stuff in it. And I'll talk to you about that when I get to it. And there's our kits. So I just wanted to make you aware of these kits. Kits are great for beginners, but I also love them because they're quick and easy. And you can do other stuff with them, which I'm going to show you. Okay. Let me get myself set up here. Here's my piercing mat. Here's that beautiful stamp set. Gorgeous, right? Oh, I hear one of the kids outside is getting yelled at. I heard one of the moms go, get over here. <laughs> Somebody's getting in trouble. Let me, um, hang on, I'm going to pull my phone up here. I've got it plugged in, but i got to get my cord out of the way. And make sure it's still plugged in. Okay, I think we're good. I changed my cord, so I'm not having cord problems anymore that I'm aware of. Let me make sure that's still going. It is. Okay, so I am going to, let's see here. What did I do with, oh, here they are. I'm going to pull out 
this is how I go about doing these kits and I just wanted to share this with you so you've got all these die cuts and what I would do is I would kind of maybe leave them right here in the paper I'm going to use my blushing bride first and according to the directions um, da, da, da. This is the first card that I'm going to make. So what I need to do is I need to stamp the celebrating your day on this layer. So I've got one, two, three, four. And that's kind of how I would go about doing it. I'd stamp up everything. You can pop these out and stamp them up or you can leave them right in there. I'm going to set that aside and let's see, the next one I'm going to grab is this long one and we've got again a whole page of these and like I said you can pop them out of here if you want to or you can leave them, it's completely up to you. And I think by the numbers, they give you extras of these. So that's kind of, I think, I think they do. Because we're supposed to have one, two, three, four, so that's four of each card, but I've got one, two, three, four, five of these here, and I already made a set so that I would know what I was doing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, and in our instructions, it tells us right here Number three is stamping. So what color do we need to use? Let's go back here. And number three is gorgeous grape. So I'll grab my gorgeous grape ink pad. Oh, Cindy said her stuff should be there on Monday. Yeah, it was really exciting when I got my... Um, my order in the mail. I expedited shipping because you know I'm not real patient. <laughs> it's not one of my virtues. I shouldn't say that. I'm a really patient person. But when it comes to this stuff, I need it yesterday, right? So I can get busy. I'm in a whole bunch of swaps. So I wanted to get started on those. I wanted to have something completely new to show you guys tonight. That's super important to me, right? There we go. So you can just continue on stamp these all up at once or maybe you want to use a different greeting from another stamp set that you have you're certain you can certainly do that too I'm gonna to just pop these all out here now I'm not gonna make all these cards for you I'm just gonna make a couple and then I'll show it to you because you'll you'll get the drift and I don't want anybody to go to sleep because this is my first Facebook live back there's no sleeping <laughs> none oh here's another one for the celebrate Oh, as long as I still have that out here, I'm just going to get this stamped up because I'm probably going to give this kit to Haley to make. And then these will all be done for her. Okay, so here's the next little die. And i got to find... I keep losing my cards here. Here's that one and this one. Okay, so for this one, we are going to use... The Blackberry Bliss. And again, I'm making these just like Stampin' Up! told me to. You can do anything you want with them. You know that, right? It's your kit. You do what you want. <laughs> I see Kathy says, welcome back. Lisa loves the boho. I do too, Lisa. I can't hardly wait to play with that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, and look, I got ink on my fingers. Nice job. Oh, did you guys notice I painted my nails for you? They're still looking kind of rough, but I have not been to... A salon. I don't even know if my salon is open yet, but I did paint my nails for you. So I was a little jealous. Dina got to go to her salon. I haven't gotten that far yet. Our um, our area is opening back up. They're being cautious, which is good. I know it was kind of weird to go on a coronation, right? But sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, and it was my decision, and I'm a big girl. But it was a lot of fun and definitely something that I needed. But I did miss you guys. Okay, here we go. This says, for a very kind and thoughtful friend. I guess I should have, I could have told you what all these said. Wishing you a comfort and peace at this time. So that's a really nice one. And again, I'm using Blackberry Bliss. 
stamping all of these. So I got home and my tiki bar is up. The roof is on. It is looking fantastic. So that was pretty exciting. Steve was super busy while I was gone. And I have to tell you, he was a little cranky when I got home. So he just missed me terribly. But then once I got home, he was kind of crabby. And I'm like, what the heck is that all about? Whatever, right? <laughs> yeah, so he actually left and went to his buddy's. Um, he's got a cabin on a lake. And he went to his buddy's cabin and went fishing and came home today. And he's in a much better mood. So I don't know what his deal was, but... It's like, really? You missed me and now you're cranky? Yeah. Oh, and I have to give you the John report. Nothing's happened with John. Like, nothing. I haven't seen John since I got home. Steve did text me a couple times to let me know that, you know, John didn't come home. <laughs> Silly, crazy, little weird things like that. It was pretty funny. Okay, so I don't know. Am I supposed to use Gorgeous Scrape? Nope, I think I'm supposed to use Highland Heather for this one. And again, it really doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want. This is the Get Well Soon. And I'm just going to stamp all of these up. Oh, I see my screen isn't scrolling again. Oh, Sarah says she got a cut in color. Na 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 na. Yeah. I, um, I'll tell you guys what. I don't get my hair done very often. I color my own hair because I'm, I'm just kind of cheap like that. And I can do it and it looks decent. So... But um, I do need a trim. When I was out in Wyoming, I don't think I could stay there very long because my hair got so dry. It was, like, almost horrible. It looked so dried out and so, like, I don't know, crummy that I think I would destroy my hair if I stayed there. It would just, and we noticed, Dina and I both noticed that our um, skin was super dry. Like, I put baby oil on every day and our skin was just so dry. It was horrible. So, good old Wyoming dry, right? Okay, so, now in our instructions, it tells us that by each one of these cards, it tells you what how much ribbon you need. So, I know that for this card, I need a three and a half inch piece of ribbon. So, I've just got my ruler out here. And, of course, you can just guess. You don't have to measure like this. But I like to measure like this. So, I'm just going to cut this off. And cut this off. Now, like I said, I'm only going to put a couple of these together for you. And then I'll just show you the ones that are done. So here's this new stamp and seal. So far, I like it. Let's see if I can get it to work. There we go. I'm just going to put that down here. And I'm going to add my ribbon to it. Then I'm going to grab one of my little these things that I have all ready to rock and find some dimensionals and again the dimensionals don't come with it so you need some of those and this is kind of a long skinny piece so I'm just going to put three of them on there grab my piercing tool oh and before I forget you guys I've had people that are waiting for to get a new die cutting machine I just wanted to let you know that our die cutting machine, we should know a timeline on it in about six weeks. I'm just repositioning this because it was kind of crooked. Well, that didn't work. In about six weeks, we're going to know when our new die cutting machine is going to be available. Just so you know, it's not available right now. We couldn't quite get it in this new catalog as quickly as we wanted to. Okay, so there we go. Then we're going to take some of these flowers. <laughs> Kathy says, ha ha, men. I know, right? It was so ridiculous. Just so ridiculous. I see Brenda's on here watching tonight. Brenda, I got your message. I haven't had a chance to answer you yet, but just know that I will, and I am happy to see you again. But I'll, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I kind of um, got caught up on my emails, and then I wasn't again. So don't worry. I saw that you messaged me and I will I will get that taken care of okay so I could use mini glue dots or I could use glue and what I found was the easiest and least messy right is just to use mini glue dots and I'm kind of just kind of scrunching them up and putting them on the end of my leaves so I'm going to bring in my leaf right here 
I should have probably waited to put the dimensional on. That'd be smarter. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice. Do you guys ever feel that way? Like if you've been away from your stamping for a few days or a long time, and then you come back to it and you're just very discombobulated? Yeah, that's kind of the way that I feel. Oops, I want this to... And the other thing is that I can reposition easily. I'm going to put this right here. I don't want it to cover up my words. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to grab one of these card fronts. Make sure that you have it going the right way. Okay, so that it opens the right way. Oh, and then you can use dimensionals to add your card front to your card, or you can just add, use your adhesive. Whatever works for you. But I thought it looked neat with the dimensionals on it. And I just happened to have a whole bunch of them. <laughs> like a whole drawer full, actually. So yeah, and you get a whole bunch on a pack, right? I think you get like 250 or 300 dimensionals in a pack. So don't let them get moldy. Okay, here we go. Now, I've had people ask me or tell me that they always get their layers on crooked. So when I'm putting on a layer, I'm looking at this and this to make sure they're even. I know if my margin is even here and here, it's gonna be even on the other sides, right? So there you go. Isn't that pretty? And then we have this beautiful envelope. The next thing I was gonna do for you is, how about the, where'd my card bases go? Right here, we'll do one of the pink ones. And then I'll just show you the rest here. So I'm going to do that one. And that one uses one of, this is one of the Get Well cards. And here's my, here's all my panels again. So I'm going to pull this. Is that not just incredibly gorgeous? So, so pretty. Yes, Denise did join my team. Woohoo! Way to go, Denise. Yeah, you guys, we have a big promotion going on right now. Gosh, I've lost my mind. See, I'm out of I'm out of sync with the way things should be right now. Um, but we have a big promotion going on right now. When you order the discount shopper kit, you get to choose $125 in product for only $99. You get to pick whatever you want. But one of the really cool things right now is you get to also choose a bundle on top of all of that for free. You get to pick a stamp set and a punch, or a stamp set and a set of dies that are bundled together in the catalog. And that's very cool. Completely free. So you've got 25 and then you can get like up to $60 for a bundle. So that's 25, 30, or 60, 70, 85. $85 free right off the top. Plus you get free shipping. So shipping on a $125 order would be $12.50. So now you're up to $89, $100, like $100 extra free when you buy the discount shopper kit right now. So um, you can also find all the details about that on my blog in that side column. And again, my blog is right here, www.stampabove.com. Now, this tells me right on here that I need about 10 inches of ribbon. That's why I've got my ruler out again. So I'm just gonna cut that. And then we are gonna do a little zigzaggy thing here. And we're going to do it underneath this get well. So I'm just going to lay my get well here. This is kind of the way I like to do it. So I can like estimate where I need to go. And you're just going to zigzag your ribbon back and forth just like this. Okay. And I'm going to pick that up. I'm just, I'm really anal about this. So I'm just going to move that out of the way. And I'm going to bring in my stamp and seal put that right on there whoops let's get another little bit in here there we go and i'm going to put that right there we're going to get some dimensionals on the back of this circle that says get well are these not simple and they're so so pretty so here comes our little get well and then last but not least, I'm going to grab my flowers. I'm going to take one of the pink flowers this time. And uh, I need some of the small leaves again. I want a single and a double in the smaller ones here. 
And again, you can do whatever you want. I'm just trying to put it together so you get a good depiction of what it should look like. And then you can do whatever you want with it, right? Because <laughs> you can do whatever you want when you get it. But I just love this. This is also a really nice thing to take if you're like going camping and you want a little project to work on. These kits are fabulous for that. Or maybe you're going to go visit a friend and you'd like to introduce them to stamping. This is a great way to do it, is to use one of these kits because it's quick and simple. All right, here we go. This comes in right here. And now we're going to put this on our card base. Make sure your card opens the right way. Okay. And I'll do dimensionals again, and I'm going to use my edges here. What do you guys think? Isn't this cool? Yeah, I thought this kit was so pretty. It was, well, of course, it's like one of the first things when you open the catalog, but I thought it was just so beautiful. I'm like, I have got to get this and show it to you guys in real life. Because you know how when you look at stuff in a catalog, Sure. It's just not quite the same as seeing somebody do something with it. And then when I'm done with this, I've got, like I said, three cards that I created using the gorgeous Posey stamp set that I'll show you. So you can, even after you have run out of these kit cards, I'm pretty sure, can you order a refill? I think you can. Let's look at that. I was going to, I meant to look at that. And I just kind of forgot. Here we go. I'm so glad I can open this catalog now. It's against Stampin' Up! policy to show you the inside of the catalog before it goes live. Yeah, the, the kit is actually $32. So when you order that, you're going to get this beautiful box again. And all the things to make all the cards. You're already going to have the gorgeous Posey stamp set. So that's fun. Okay, then I think what I want to do is I am going to take this... Um, Blackberry Bliss. Let's get my ribbon out of the way so I don't make a mess out of that. And I'm going to... You know I like to decorate the insides of my cards. And look at how pretty. That looks almost real. This is one, I think, one of our distinctive stamp sets. Isn't that gorgeous? And again, here comes our pretty little envelope that goes with it. Love it! Okay, let me close this up. So... There we go. We made this card. We made this card. Then, uh, here's the one that uses the long, this would be like a sympathy card. Look how pretty that is. That um, baker's twine just tied in a, little, in a little bow here. We use the circle flowers out of the dies. Pretty, pretty. The ribbon is under there. And again, it tells you exactly how much ribbon you need. And here's the celebrate your day. And again, with the purple baker's twine, the ribbon is under there. Beautiful, 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 you guys. Yay, I love this kit. I just love it. It is so pretty. Okay, let me clean up my mess here a little bit. I am going to set these over here. I'm going to get my chamois out because we're going to need to clean all these off. And I just stuck my finger in it. I'm out of baby wipes. Can you even believe that? So one thing we did, as soon as we got to Wyoming, we um, went to the Walmart. And I have to tell you guys, this is the first time I've been in a store since CQ 2020, right? And we were like unsupervised five-year-olds in a candy store with the snack aisle. <laughs> we bought everything under the sun for snacks to have at Barb's house. And it was so funny. We got up to the cash register. I'm like, wow, holy cow. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> Anyways, it was kind of funny. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four. I'm going to take a couple more envelopes here. Here we go, and here we go. So I'm just going to leave these sit here. I want to put all of these away so I don't lose them. And then I will show you my next card. So pretty. What are you guys drinking tonight? Oh, guess what? You're going to, this is shocking, but 
I actually almost ran out of my strawberry lemonade while I was in Wyoming. I know, right? I had to ration myself. It was horrible. So when I'm not drinking this, I drink iced tea, which is a great alternative, right? I like to wrap this back up so that it doesn't get all weird. Um, so yeah, I drink iced tea, and I had to do that because, funny story, like, we didn't really know how long we were going to be gone, and, you know, we're working while we're there, so it's not like we're just completely off, but my friend Dina got, she got the go-ahead from her husband. She could be gone for two weeks, and I was like, whoa, wait, two weeks? Like, that's a long time, right? I hadn't planned on that, so I didn't take enough of my strawberry lemonade to be gone for two weeks. So yeah, I was a little fearful. And you know, it's it's not that big of a deal, but it's got caffeine in it. And when if you've ever had a caffeine headache, that is not fun at all. Okay, here comes my next card. I'm just going to set these beauties aside. I'll bring them back in before we're done so you can take another look at them. Get out my little cheat sheet here. Tomorrow, it's supposed to be just amazingly hot here in Wisconsin. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees tomorrow. I can't hardly wait. You guys know I love this weather, right? <laughs> I love this heat and humidity. Bring it on. Okay, so we've got a brand new Elegant Faceted Gems. And I hope that you can see how incredibly pretty these are. But they are, these are clear, these are kind of frosted, and then these are like petal pink. And look at how pretty they are. Blushing Bride, petal pink, I don't know, but they're beautiful. We're going to use those. And then, because I can't remember anything, I made a label. This is the Tasteful Textile 3D Embossing Folder. So we're going to use that. And this is, oh, so cool. Brand new product. <gasps> look at this ribbon. Gray Granite shimmer ribbon. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's quarter inch. Love it. Okay. Oops. Here's a black circle. Oh, and we need a sponge dauber. I had Molly Jo punching one inch circles for me for all of those DSP samplers. So it's kind of funny. I knocked over the black ones and I just found one in my bin. So I'm sure I'll find some more. Okay. We have petal pink. This is Four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it at five and a half. Hi, Jan. I see Jan just popped in. My night is going fantastic. I'm so glad to be back. That's for sure. Then I have a Whisper White layer. This is going to be two and a half by five. We're going to stamp on that. A gray granite layer that's two and three quarters by five and a half. Then we've got a layer for the inside and a four by five and a quarter inch layer for the front. So this is going to be a tone on tone card, but I wanted you to see, can you see that texture? I hope you can see that because it's super, super pretty. I really like it. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to do a little stamping here. I've got pear pizzazz, gray granite, and petal pink. Let me see if I can find, uh, oh, I lost my, I lost my, oh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I lost my, um, mask. That's it. So I'm going to make a new one. I think I'll, yeah, that'll work. Again, I'm using the gorgeous poppy or posy stamp set. So I'm going to take the flower and I'm going to stamp it on a post-it note. Now you want to make sure that some of the flower goes on to the sticky part of the post-it note. Okay, so that's super important that you get it. So this is the sticky side. You want to make sure that it's got some up there. I already had this done, but I, I don't know what I did with it. So I got to cut it out painstakingly. You know I never like to cut stuff out in front of you guys because it's kind of boring. So what can we talk about? What did you guys have for supper? I told you what I had. I had tacos like all day long. I'm feeling a little Hispanic right at the moment. Because <laughs> I ate so many tacos. 
I didn't really actually eat tacos. I ate nacho chips and taco meat, and then I bought nacho cheese. Haley got me one of those, um, those uh, slow cookers that has like three crocks in it. So I put the liquid nacho cheese in one, and then the meat in the other two. Oh my gosh, did that work slick today? And then we also have one of those. We have a blow up thing that's like it's about this big and the edges blow up and you put ice in it and then you set all your cold stuff in it yeah I'm set up pretty good for um, summer parties but the other thing that I noticed that I don't have is I need to get a new tablecloth like you know those plastic things you can wipe off because the one that I have is old and it's getting tattered and I only have one and I need two now because we have two tables. So I think I need to go shopping and I need to go someplace where they have fun summer stuff like that. So I'm kind of a little bit excited because we haven't really been able to shop, right? Except Walmart in the snack aisle. <laughs> it was so funny. We did. We were just like kids in a candy store. I'm not even kidding. It was just hysterical. Okay, so... Now that I've made this mask, it's already sticking, I'm just gonna set that aside. I'm going to take my petal pink and I'm going to stamp a flower. Look at how pretty that is. The stamp a flower down there and here's one of our sponge daubers. You get five of these in a pack for $5. They've got the little hole in the end and I'm going to take this and twirl it just like that and that gives me a center to my pretty little flower. I'm just reading comments here for a second. Oh, somebody said 90. We hit 118 three days ago. I know, Wendy, but you're in Arizona. We're in Wisconsin. <laughs> we don't get hot weather like that. Remember, we get lots of snow all the time. Okay, we are going to stamp our flowers. And again, petal pink. I'm going to stamp a flower. This is my two and a half inch wide Whisper white piece, stamp one right there, and then one right here. Okay, while I'm doing this, before I go too much further, I'm gonna use my Get Well, I'm gonna stamp that in gray granite, and I'm gonna put it right over here. Okay, so, so far this is what we have. Here comes our mask. And this is actually going to be my technique card for the month of May. So I think last month. I, I need to get those out this week. I always, at the end of the month, then I get them out the next week. So I guess we're kind of moving into week number two. Sorry. But I will be getting those in the mail very soon. So now I'm going to grab this leaf in my pear pizzazz and I'm going to stamp it and the mask keeps the green from going on to my flower. And also in here, we have these little leaf vein things. So I'm going to leave my mask in place while I do that. Okay, and now you pick it up, and that's what you have. So we're going to move this over here so we can put a leaf on this particular flower. And all I'm doing is kind of filling up the white space in here, you guys. And this is a great way to do it. Here comes the vein. I'm using the same color for both stamps. Because this is the distinctive stamp, it's much lighter. It's very texturized, which is cool. Okay. And then one more right here. And whoops. <laughs> It's stuck. It's stuck to my um, my piercing mat paper instead of here because the sticky is way up there. So I'm just going to hold it in place here. And I think I will do one there and maybe just one right there. Because I'm just trying to fill in the white space. I want it to kind of look, you know, not bare there. And then one more right up here. There we go. Okay, isn't that pretty? Very pretty. Now, we're gonna come back in and I'm gonna put this in the middle and twist it. That's how I make the centers for my flowers in the gray granite ink. Ta-da! 
And then I want to make this into a banner. So I'm going to put a shallow snip right in the middle of my layer. And then I come in from each point to the top of that snip, just like that. And just like that. Okay. Now we've got this two and three quarter inch piece. And where did my, um, here it is. I'm going to take my, oh, I'm so used to using the fast fuse where you have to do that check mark thing, but you don't have to do this with this. It'll let go. This is our new adhesive. And like I said, I'm testing it out. I want to give everybody uh, an informed opinion about it. I don't just buy stuff and go, oh, get this because I sell it. That's not how I operate. Like, there's probably some stuff that you've never seen me use just because it's, like, not my favorite. So I kind of take that very seriously. I don't want to be showing you products that I have trouble with. And sometimes it's just me. So just know that. Sometimes, like, everybody else seems to be doing fine with it, but I'm not. That doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. There we go. So I've done my little banner here. Then I'm going to move this out of the way. Let me get these closed up. Close that. Oh, I'm going to need this yet. Um, here's an envelope. Let's do our envelope before we go any further. I'm just going to take that petal pink. I'm going to put that there in my gray granite before I close it up and do that. Okay, now we're ready. Okay. Now we're going to take that beautiful shimmer ribbon right here, and I'm just going to tie it around the top of this layer. And I like that it's the same on both sides, so you don't have to try to keep one side towards the front. You know what I mean? That gets tricky sometimes when you have a pattern on one side of your ribbon but not the other. Oh, I need to make this a little bigger. And um, I'm just going to tie this in a knot. The ribbon, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's really, really sparkly and pretty. It's very, very pretty. And I really like this color. Gray granite is like a really popular, pretty color. And there we go. And then I think we're ready to roll with this card. So I'm just going to put a little of our seal on here. Hang on. I'm still getting a feel for this. Like I said, I'll let you know when I know <laughs> all the things about operating all of these new toys. Okay. And I know that it's super duper sticky, so I've been very impressed with that. I haven't had any problems. The stuff that I made in the last couple days has stayed together, so that makes me very happy. Look at how pretty that is, right? Okay, um, here comes the inside. Put that in here. Right, how about right side up like this? <laughs> Not upside down. This is that four by five and a quarter inch piece. Last but not least, we're gonna add some of these elegant faceted gems. These are so, so pretty. And I thought since we're using petal pink, that is the perfect combination to go with the petal pink ones. And then I'll show you the other ones. I use, where's that card at? Right here. I use the clear ones on this pool party version of the very same card. What do you guys think? Yeah. So pretty, right? Okay, hang on because my um, computer is not doing its thing anymore. What's happening? Am I still live? I am. Oh, I see all the hard coming. Hang on, my computer isn't working right. It's making me crazy. Oh, it's locked right up. Huh. Okay, so stamp and seal, brand new. We've got gorgeous posies. 
brand new. Here are all those gorgeous cards. Holy cow, right? So incredibly pretty. I just, this made me drool. Yeah. And then we've got the Tasteful Textures. I also use that on the pool party card. I think you can see it there. Beautiful new gray granite shimmer ribbon. Did, were you impressed that I remember the name of that? Here's our little box for our kit. This is quite the little keepsake box. It's got the little rubber band here that goes over the, yeah, very, very pretty, right? Okay, since I can't see what's happening, because for some reason my computer is not loading my Facebook here. Let me try one more time. Nope, it will not let me on there. Huh. I'm going to flip you guys around, so hold tight. Otherwise, I can't see what's going on. I can't see your messages. My computer... Or See, I'm breaking up. Sure. So we got through this far, and now I'm breaking up. So that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, so Facebook still hates me. <laughs> I know hate's a strong word, but I feel the same about them. I'm not happy with Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Denise. Denise says all the cards are pretty. Um, Judy, you got to watch from the beginning. You were a winner. Yeah, I thought you were on here, but you weren't. So, got to watch from the beginning. The card kit, gorgeous posies card kit, you guys. I absolutely love it. Now, if you need to place an order, I always appreciate your orders. I will post the host code, uh, my current host code. Otherwise, it's on the right-hand column of my blog. It's also at the bottom of every single post I put on my blog is that um, host code. And I see that I'm breaking up again. Now Haley says it's good. Okay, thank you. Very frustrating. So that tells me that I need to perhaps go back to Zoom again. <sighs> yeah. I need to do I need to do YouTube live. So oh, and Terry says it happened when all the hearts started, but that isn't shouldn't be. Marlene is saying that the emojis make it break up. I don't think that is really the case. I know that it happened when the emojis came up, but um, I've had it do that when there's no so, um, yeah I've, I've also seen the emojis go crazy and it didn't break up so I know it seems that way but I don't really think get the webcam set up I do have the webcam the webcam actually traveled with me to Wyoming and back <laughs> I know right <laughs> And I also got, look what I got. So I went to my friend Barb's house, and she talked me into getting a wireless keyboard. Yay! I don't know if I like it. And then she also, if you're going to have a keyboard, then you have to have a mouse. So I got that. And then she talked, well, she didn't talk me into it. She had this really nice stand for her laptop to sit on, so I got that. I don't know if I like that either. And I ordered a tank top with real um, crisscrossy straps in the back. $213 later, I did do a little shopping online while I was there. Anyways, um, I will put up the information about my new um, online classes is coming soon. I just have to get it done. Get it all typed up. And what else? I'll put the host code up. What else did I promise you? Hmm. Do you guys remember something? Yeah, Roxanne says maybe after one hour Facebook goes crazy. And I guess, you know, that must be what it is. I can't even get on it on my laptop right now. And I don't know why. Like, there is absolutely no reason why Facebook should not open up on my laptop. But it, it will not. <laughs> Judith says wireless keyboard, cool. Yeah, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I know. Yeah, You know what? That's what Barb said. She loves her wireless keyboard. And she said, I don't know how you can type on that thing. But I'll tell you guys, like, I am really good. This is my keyboard. 
I am really good on this thing and I am really good on my magic pad. Like I don't need all this external stuff. So it just like slows me down because I've, I've, I've gotten used to this. The one thing I do like about the wireless keyboard is that I have numbers. Yeah, because when I'm putting in orders, those numbers are really nice. And I was a, an accountant, so I can do this like 500 miles an hour. It's pretty fun to watch. Not going to lie. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, oh, yeah, the link for the DSP sheets. Thank you very much. See how quickly I forget that stuff? I don't even know what I did with the sheets now. But um, <clears throat> I will get that up also. So, um, also... Please wait until tomorrow, Monday, after your mail comes. If you do not have your new catalog yet, contact me. I, if you're a customer or, you know, if you've asked me for a new catalog, if you're one of my team members, call Stampin' Up! and tell them you didn't get your new catalog. I've heard from some people that their catalog hasn't arrived yet. And, um... If you are my customer and you should be getting a catalog or you requested one from me and you still don't have it, contact me and I will take care of it. Then somebody just asked if I have fiber internet. I do. I have really good internet and I pay quite a bit extra for super high speed on the internet. Um, so my streaming doesn't give me problems. So, so that's a great question. Thank you so much. But I do pay extra to have above average internet service, I guess is a good way to say it. So, oh, and Mary, Mary, um, Emilio, yes, I took the blanket over to Haley's house. Mary crocheted this most beautiful baby blanket and I don't have it because Haley has it. Um, so I can't even show it to everybody, but it is so beautiful and she loved it, Mary. And I have your cards, I believe here in my bucket that I'm gonna show tomorrow. So for those of you that may miss, may have missed it, I'm going to come on live sometime tomorrow, maybe mid-morning, I'm thinking 10-ish, 11-ish, whatever, maybe around noon, um, and I am going to show you all the beautiful mail that I got while I was gone, because I have like this whole bucket of mail, like a lot of mail, and I'm also going to show you my new products, because I've still got them sitting out, and then I can show you this right now, so hang tight, so I don't want you to get sick, but here we go. So, this whole shelf was empty. This is all my new stamp sets. Oh, uh, and my um, my spring mini catalog sets. My spring mini catalog sets are kind of over there. All the rest of this is new right here. I emptied out my shelves. I got all my retired stuff out of here. Um, I'm still working on cleaning out something. I don't remember what it was yet, but I'm I'm still working on getting something cleaned out. Huh. I can't remember what it was. I know I'm a little scary, right? I'm not gonna lie, it's a little scary. Yeah, I really can't remember anything. Okay, thank you guys so much. I'm gonna let you go now, and um, I will get a blog post up. Now, again, when you guys say that if Zoom is a little blurry, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but it is what it is. I always have still photos of all the cards that I make on my blog that night or the next day. So you can go there and see the still photos where nothing is blurry, it's all beautiful. So you'll be able to see that. Um, I'll be getting that done tonight or tomorrow, like I said. So, okay, um, where do you store your retired favorites? Well, that's a really good question. Who asked me that? Cindy White. Um, this is a business for me, so I don't usually keep anything that retires. Like, nothing. I'll keep it. Once in a while, I'll keep something. And I'll keep it for a couple years. I'll never touch it. And then I get rid of it. Um, so it's real weird, right? I'm in a whole different place than you're at with having all your favorites for all the time. I, I go here and here and here and here. I get new favorites all the time. And I've really kind of gotten used to that. You know, like, let's say this was retiring and it was one of my favorites. I I know that I'll have a new favorite. Like, that's where my mind goes. It's like, even though I love this to death, I know that I will love something new to death, too. So, 
Oh, and Linda says, for the West Coasters, closer to noon is better. She said she won't be in her PJs. I might be in my PJs. No, I think I'm going to get up tomorrow, go for my bike ride. I gained five pounds on my trip to Wyoming. Yeah, five pounds. So um, I have a little bit of work to do. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think I'll go for my bike ride in the morning, and then I will come back, and you'll probably get me in my hat and ponytail and... And, and we're friends, right? It'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys. I'm going to let you go. Oh, my screen wasn't scrolling again. I don't know why that happens. Do I sell my retired stuff? Yeah, Sherry, I usually have a used stamp sale. It's usually the first weekend in June every year at my house. So it's only for local people. But this year I didn't have it. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do. Like, I haven't decided yet how I'm going to handle this. I might do some, like, kind of a, an auction thing. So, oh, Cindy just asked, what is the status of my million dollars? I completely forgot about that. I'm going to take my chain and I'm going to put it in with my mail and we're going to talk about that tomorrow. Thank you for that reminder. See, this is why I have notes and I didn't put it on there. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. Have yourselves a wonderful Sunday evening. And if you can join me live tomorrow, otherwise you can watch on the replay. Yeah, Judith is right. I need to go early. Yeah, you're right about that. But I want to sweat. <laughs> Love to sweat. Okay. List it on your blog. Nope, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.